Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. In this video today I will be giving you guys a hair video. You guys have been asking me how I achieve like my wave hairstyle that I've been wearing a lot lately. Now, before I start this video and get into this hair tutorial, one, I am not a hairstylist, I am not a licensed cosmetologist, I have never been, and I probably won't ever be. But, play around with my hair. Two, this hairstyle is a mix between the two hairstylists that I go to, with, which is Artist for Gigi. Um, her name is Jillian Garcia. Found her on Instagram. I've been to her a couple times. And it's a mixture between um, Bubbles, the appearance enhancer. I've found her through a friend. I go to her a lot. So this hairstyle is a mixture between the both for me to achieve this hairstyle. Now, it is not the same way, the same exact way that they do my hair, but it is inspired by those two combined, and that's how I achieve this hairstyle. Anyway, if you guys want to know how I achieve this hairstyle, stay tuned. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all social medias, and enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start off with this Afogi or Afugi. I don't know how to say it. Um, Shampoo. This is the Keratin and Green Tea Shampoo. I'm going to use this to wash my hair. If you guys don't know how to wash your hair, there's a million and one videos on YouTube about how to wash your hair. And then I'm going to use this black vanilla um, hydrating conditioner from Carol's Daughter. You guys have seen this everywhere. I'm going to use that to do condition. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how I mold my hair. Hair's washed, I deep conditioned it and everything, and now I'm going to wrap it. Now, my advice to you, do not put anything, no oils, no heat protectants, no nothing on your hair. Because when I use this foam wrap and I put stuff on my hair, my hair doesn't come out the way it does in the salon. So now I learned that you just need to put your um, foam on your hair and do what you gotta do. I'm just gonna use my Nairobi Rapid Shine Foam Lotion and I'm gonna keep my shirt around me because it's cute. I'm just gonna deposit it all around my hair making sure I get it to the root as well. This may look like a lot of foam, but I promise you, it's not. Alright, so I just wrap it down in sections. And there's no rush in wrapping your hair because the foam's on it and your hair's wet, so I don't rush. Alright, so hair's wrapped down. So what I'm going to do now is, mind you, this is most likely not needed, but for some reason I still do it. The edge area of my hair, I'm just going to like put the little waves in it. Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go So for the back, I usually take my brush and just make sure it's really flat if I'm in between black hair. For my girls out there with short hair, this part is importante. So I'm just going to take my Sanac 
mega wrap strips. You can get the black or the white ones, it doesn't matter. I prefer the black ones because they're stronger. And I'm gonna lay my hair down. So first, I do the first one at the back of my head. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on, we'll go. Then I'm gonna put another one down. And then I'm gonna put another one. Okay, so they're down. I'm just gonna cut this off because it's gonna be in the way. Hair's wrapped down. I'm ready to go. Just show you the very last important part. So this is my hot tool set under dryer and I bought this a long time ago the first time my hair was short and I used to wash my hair at home and just sit under the dryer and dry it and curl it up myself. So that's what I'm going to do today. Everybody's hair takes a different amount of time to dry. Mine takes about an hour to an hour and a half. I'm going to sit under this hot ash dryer, let my hair dry and I will come back to you guys and show you how I get my weight. So I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine. A lot of hairstylists use this. I use it in my hair as well. I'm just going to take a little bit and just rub it through my hair. Hair is moisturized and everything. And I'm going to be using a 1 8 curling iron and a 1 8 flat iron. I'm just putting this around my neck just in case. I don't know why, but I am. So I'm gonna spray this Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray all over my hair. And I'm just gonna curl my hair. So I usually start from the shorter side, which is this side. And again, don't worry about this because you're gonna redo it. And with the flat iron, So now for the front, I'm going to curl everything going that way, but I'm going to curl it in a certain way and I'm going to see if I could explain it to you guys. I'm just going to take a little piece of hair <clears throat> and I'm going to curl really tight. Just flip it to get that wave effect. I don't know if you guys can understand it. Shadow turns the sun rays and oh. 
All right, so now I look crazy. So here's the fun part. So I'm gonna need this ISO Plus 24 hour holding spray. And this side of the comb is like the best size to do what I need to do because it's tighter together. So what I'm gonna do first is pick up some of the edge control with this side. And this is the Design Essential Sleek Max Edge Control. So I'm gonna do this side. So I'm just gonna put a generous amount of edge control on my edges, like so. And I'm going to spray the spray just lightly. I'm gonna brush through the edges. I'm gonna take the opposite side and I'm just gonna wave it up. That's all I basically do. Now to the top. I'm gonna put the edge control first down on my edges. Because the top is the harder part. And again, I'm putting a generous amount of edge control. And I'm going to spray my edges a bit and spray my actual hair. I'm going to take the smaller side and I'm going to wave it. So what I do now is just lay the hair flat because I hate when it looks like this. And I'm just going to use my silk scarf and a little bit more of the holding spray. And just tie my hair down for the time being. So I usually do this like the night before I go out or before I do my makeup. So let's get this finished up so I can be on my way. A little bit of it is messed up as far as like the sides, but usually when it's like that, I just take my fingers and go through my hair. But the top, with time, it gets flatter. Hey guys, so that's basically what I do to get a hairstyle that I've been rocking since forever. If you guys like this hair video, just give me a thumbs up. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. And I'll see you guys in my next video.